This video was sponsored by Ultrapoi. Forearm rolls definitely get the lion's share of attention in the poi world, but we've got plenty of options for rolls that work in a horizontal plane too. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, and today we're rolling through my two favorite contact poi tricks that utilize horizontal planes. And yes, that pun was intended. Yeah, puns are not my strong suit, okay? Let's go learn something. Before we dive in, I just want to give a shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyrotera Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. I've spent the past month talking about a lot of different contact poi tricks, and these may be the first ones I've covered that don't involve retraining a whole bunch of basic motor skills. Horizontal rolls generally follow a vertical or diagonal line across the body, going from low to high as they go side to side. We're going to cover cases where these rolls switch which hand is holding the poi, as well as rolls where the poi return to the same hand. I'm going to have you start with a roll that will switch hands because it'll keep the poi where you can see it and make it easier to catch. Start this off by spinning your poi in a horizontal plane toward your opposite shoulder and swing it over the other shoulder, past your neck, and let it come to rest with the tether wrapped around the back of your neck and the poi head resting between your neck and the shoulder on native side. Flick the tether away from you and the poi will begin rolling down your chest to the opposite hip. Quickly bring your arm around behind your back to catch the tether by the time the poi head reaches your hip. It's important to note that while the surface your poi head is rolling across isn't flat, that it does still need to be accessible. You'll find it difficult to do this trick if you're slouching or lean forward as the poi will drop from your shoulder into thin air. Think instead that you want to lean back slightly and arch your back so the poi has a clean and direct path to roll down from your shoulder to your chest, stomach, and hip. I find it's just a little bit uncomfortable to get my body to contort in this way, but I'm also not that flexible, so your mileage may vary. If it doesn't feel right, take a quick breather and come back to it later. And now, let's talk about a horizontal roll that does switch hands. Start this roll in a way very similar to the last one. Spin the poi in a horizontal plane and swing it up and over your opposite shoulder. This time you want the poi head resting right behind the crest of your trapezius muscle, with the tether running across the front side of your neck. Flick the tether and it will initiate a roll down your back. You'll want to catch the tether as it spins out toward your native hip with your non-native hand. This one is challenging in a couple different ways, the most notable one being that you can't see the poi as it's performing the roll, so the catch is blind. Like the chest roll we started with, this roll will be most successful if you have a surface for the poi to roll down, so hunching over slightly to create a ramp down your back for the poi to roll down will be a tremendous help. Thus far in this series, we've tended to focus on moves that are only performed with one hand at a time, but one of the things that I truly love about horizontal rolls is that they also open up the door to a great contact trick that involves the use of both hands. This is a trick I learned ages ago from a Ronin video that still leaves my jaw on the floor. To learn this trick, you're going to need to learn horizontal rolls that travel almost straight across the body, rather than either diagonal or vertical. Let's start by learning the left hand roll. Swing the poi around behind your neck and let the head come to land on your right shoulder. Flick the tether back behind you and immediately reach your left hand around in front of you to catch the tether as it swings towards you. You should have just enough time to catch it as the poi head begins to drop. For the right hand roll, swing the poi around in front of your neck and let the head land on the back side of your left shoulder. Give the poi tether a quick flick to the side and immediately reach your right arm around behind you to catch the poi as it begins to drop off your shoulder. Lean forward slightly to give the poi head as much surface to roll across as possible before it begins to drop. Now to put the pieces together. As one hand swings the poi in front of the neck onto the opposite shoulder, the other hand is going to swing its poi behind your neck onto the opposite shoulder. You should have a spiral of poi around your neck with one in front and one behind. The first thing to watch out for is when you wrap both poi around your neck, one of them has to be on top. The order of this is actually very important. Make sure that your right hand poi lands above the tether of the left hand poi. Try to start them from a position with your left hand just to the left of your center line and your right hand reaching just behind you. When you flick the tethers to initiate the roll, lean just slightly forward. It will help control the roll and descent of the right hand poi, which is helpful because it is performing a roll outside the range of your vision. So few people play with horizontal plane rolls that it's pretty likely that you can find one that nobody has ever seen before. Experiment with these and see if they get your gears turning a bit. 
While I've long admired the hackers in the flow arts community who create props and solutions for problems with what they have at hand, I've got to admit that I've always loved playing with props and other flow arts equipment that's been developed by the company specifically for our use. One of the reasons I love playing with these Orb Poi from this month's sponsor Ultra Poi so much is that they've been designed from the ground up as an effective LED contact poi solution. They're clean and professional products and a joy to spin with. To snag a set of these for yourself, head on over to ultrapoi.com and use the discount code DREXFACTOR with a zero instead of an O. If you dug this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to guarantee that you'll get to see my latest videos when they get published. And finally, a shout out to my awesome supporters on Patreon. They are the reason that this video and all the videos on my channel exist. If you'd like to sign up to support the work that I do, please head on over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. You'll get access to my videos before the rest of the world, plus great exclusive content and a vote on what topics I tackle in the future. Thank you so much in advance.